Is everybody recording? Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'll ca- I'll count in from uh, three, two, one. Cool. Did- Brilliant. <laughs> That'll do. Did everybody um, clap? I didn't hear any other claps. Oh, I, I, I clap. clap. Yeah, clap every- yeah. Everyone clap. Don't okay. worry. We'll do. Cool. Okay. Cool. Fine. All right. I only heard one other clap, so I get where you're coming from. But I definitely clapped. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll, we'll all be on the recording. Maybe we will just so in sync that yeah. like it yeah. all muffled each other. Please, can we play the game? <laughs> We're get, like get, ten get, minutes get, late. Get. <laughs> we are our own worst enemies. Anyway, okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Odyssey. We are now on session three. I am Kai, your DM, and if our wonderful players could please introduce themselves. Oh, yeah, that's me at the top. Uh, hi, I'm Jay. I am playing uh, Francesca Elizabeth Steinbeck, or Franking. Uh, she is a character with 17 hit points, 11 AC, and absolutely zero combat spells prepared. <laughs> Great! <laughs> I'm prepared. Hi, my name is Liz. And today I'm going to be playing Miss Foam Forrester, a little druid who is trying to check out this society thing, and we are now being faced with a growling statue that is fun. I don't know how many combat spells I also have prepared, so don't worry. So, I'm Sugi, currently piloting the uh, flesh mech of Snail, and... Oh, These bozos oh. have done uh, upset a statue, so I guess we're fighting now. Oh, fuck. Hey, uh, I'm Mark, and I am playing uh, Biff Hitley. It's not such a nice kitty. <laughs> Tragic. What a great really way to start. Happy. Yeah. We've got a fantastic energy going into this entire episode, and I'm glad that none of it's on the recording, so y'all don't get to find out the bullshit that happened to make this game start ten minutes late. (laughs) Don't worry about it. We went a little bit feral. A little bit. Anyway. A little bit? (laughs) Anyway. uh, Minor recap from the previous, uh, like, where you guys are. Y'all are at the Museum Hermeshka. Y'all got dropped, you had a nice dinner, you got dropped down a pit, you climbed a bunch of stairs, you saw a charred and blackened dead human body. Um, then you all went exploring through some bedrooms. Um, oh, very important detail that you guys do need to remember this session. You'll have black circles around one of your eyes because you looked at a telescope that had been inked. (laughs) Uh Uh (laughs) Critical. Uh, and where we currently are is you are in the you are in a bedroom that is very alchemy themed, and Biff has just picked up this like um verdigris brass lion statue, thinking it was very cool. The lion statue has sim- just growled, and we've all just rolled initiative. <laughs> the kid is not so nice. No. Um, Miss Foam, you are actually first up in the initiative. So, uh, how do you react? This lion hasn't done anything but growl so far. What do you want to do? <laughs> Oh dear. Hmm. Uh, can I get an idea of where everybody is in the room in relation to this <laughs> growling now animated lion? I know Biff is holding said lion. Right How about everybody there. else? Uh, the lion would have been in one of the corners, so presumably Biff's near there. I know that Lockie is over trying to open up one of the windows. Where are the rest of y'all? Uh, Frankie's by the bookshelf, wherever that happens to be. I'm not sure how close that is to the lion, but... Biff did put I... Sugi down, so Sugi can be wherever... <laughs> I, I really hate to say it, but Sugi was sulking at the door. <laughs> what was left of the door? <laughs> well, yeah, mm-hmm. but I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So in that case, you're all pretty scattered around the room. Uh, The bedroom's not absolutely huge and a lot of its space is kind of taken up by furniture and, you know, the giant bed against one wall. Um, This is the dusty one. Yeah. So but you're all like you all would be in around a 15 foot square, really. Damn. Huh. Yeah, we we, we fight in tight. Um, I have a question and I can I'm willing to roll for this. Would um would speak with animals work? 
And do, should I roll Arcana, uh, Insight, Nature, or whatever to uh, check if that would be a valid spell or would it just bounce off? I would say roll Insight to see if you would know if this would work or not. Okay. Because, like, I know the answer. I don't know if you would know the answer. It's good way of thinking yeah. ahead, though. This to be fair, foam is just now squinting at the lion to try and get insight. That's a 22. All right, with a 22, you know for a fact that while this thing is shaped like a lion, it's not technically an animal, it's a construct. So speak with animals wouldn't really apply to it. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Um... This thing seems bad either way. And bad thing about druids is that they have too many goddamn spells. Hey. So uh, druids I, can cast whatever. They can cast whatever. You have to set up whatever, but it's also so much. Um, uh, what would Miss Foam do in this situation then? Um, Miss Foam does suspect that something is going to go down, but she doesn't want to start it. So what she's going to do is she's going to move to where um, Frankie is and cast Bark Skin on Frankie. Oh. Uh, well, the, the interaction would be that uh, Miss Foam would like gesture for Frankie's attention and ask politely, Dear, I believe this might be... A situation where we have to be on our toes. Is it okay if I bless you? Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, and it's she will like, cast Frank dark skin. Frankie is not. Frankie is not enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. You now have uh, sixteen AC for as long as I have <gasps> concentration, and that is up for an hour. That's six sixteen. Yes. Oh it's not God. like a bonus, it's just straight up 16. That's what no, I was that's like. No, it's Good. It can't be less than 16. Mm -mm. So oh, that's wait, amazing. What? Okay, that's extreme. Yeah, 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 it can't be less than 16. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's... if there was like another spell to add on top of it type thing. That's true. Oh no, no that's so... just straight up good for you guys. Yeah, it's extremely <laughs> good. That's, that's a good defense. <laughs> this that's exactly the sort of thing that you needed. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, um, who, who's it, it is Frankie's turn next, right? Yes, yeah, go ahead. Is, oh, <laughs> that, that is the end of um, Miss Foam's turn, right? I yes, did get that is. right? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, Frankie is going to say, oh, thank you, yes, thank you, that was, um, <clears throat> uh, oh dear, this is not really my particular area of expertise. Um, should we all maybe get away from the growling pointy toothed thing please biff darling maybe put it down and come over here frankie is just going to be retreating frankie is going to be leaving probably for the best <laughs> like can i just biff? get out of the bedroom <laughs> i mean if you want suki is standing in front of the door though i mean yeah yeah I mean, the frankie is just going to be like sort of trying to chivy everybody away from the lion <laughs> i have a question yeah. um in this act, are you just moving, are you dashing, or are you going to try and avoid getting hit by the lion actively oh, good as good an action? Point. Um, within, I mean, am I within the reach of the lion at the moment? Uh, how, how close do you reckon you were standing to, uh, to Biff? I don't know. Like I said, my only reference for it was that I was standing by the bookcase. Um, I would say you are actually, oh no, because again, it's the 15 feet square. I'm going to say that you, there's not going to be an opportunity of attack for you solely because the lion is currently being held by Biff. <clears throat> okay, yeah, no, no, that's fine then. Uh, no, You're I'm welcome. not going to be, <laughs> um, yeah, not going to be, uh, dashing or anything like that. Ju uh, not leaving the room directly, but like getting as far away from the thing as possible without actively leaving the room and again still just like sort of like clap, clap the hands together and be like all right everybody out sort of thing like a school teacher yeah pretty much <laughs> an amazing way to start uh if yeah if 
that's going to be all you want to do, then... Yeah, like, again, Frankie has no combat spells. The only thing they have, the only weapon that they have is a quarterstaff. And th- thank- thanks to Ms. Foam, they now no longer have, an, once again, an 11 for their AC. <laughs> but that's still quite, you know, <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> That's not great. <laughs> all right. Uh, as you go, well, if that's all you're going to do, that means next up is the lion's turn. And it has multi-attack. And it's not too happy about being um. held by Biff. Um, so it's actually going to be um, raking oh, one of its, no. like, bronze claws across Biff's face. And that's a plus five. Oh, man. Uh, does it eight definitely does not hit, uh, so it's going no. to take a bite at your neck instead. Oh, good. An eight, eight does not hit. Yeah! Oh, let's go! Let's go! Uh, Biff's, Biff's head is too thick. However, for its movement, her, it is... Her skull is, is too thick. <laughs> it is going to be trying to wriggle free as part of its movement, and I'm going to say a 17 beats you unless, uh, Biff, you want to make a strength contest and see how hard you yeah, want to grapple. Yeah, are we calling it a grapple? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um... Oh man. I mean it's you can you, you know can why. purposely choose to fail um this roll and just drop the lion. I think she's just one. gonna drop it. Yeah. I think she's just gonna drop it. Alright, the lion falls to the floor with a clung, <clears throat> but manages to oh. land on all flo- fours after escaping ably. And Liz now just kind of like takes a couple of steps towards you, but doesn't actually mechanically get anywhere. It's more just kind of being big and green and imposing. Um, yep. And that's the end of its turn, which means now we move on to Sugi. Did Lockie yeah. roll? Did we do a roll for Lockie? Oh, wait, shit, I forgot to roll for Lockie. Where did you, you know what? Lockie was Sorry, like, I, just, I just thought of that as well. No, so. To be fair, I'm the DM and I forgot, so that's my bad. <laughs> that's a seven. Lockie right, goes I, at the end anyway. <laughs> it's gone Lockie goes at the so end. I'm going to edit that. Thank mm. you. Oh, wait, Mark's the one who did it. I thought I did it for some reason. <laughs> I was like, I'll just edit that real quick. Why can't I edit that? Oh, You were going to, and then you were away when we started, when we had most of the rolls, so I just did it. <laughs> nope, that's I fine. did pin it for you. Thank okay, you. Uh, Sugi. Sugi uh, has been keeping an eye on this, still sort of sulking, but then the lion tries to take a bite out of Biff, and... He sort of knows that Biff is either going to 100% follow what Frankie says or try to punch this thing alone while Frankie tries to wrangle everybody out. So what he's going to do is he is going to immediately cast Expeditious Retreat, which makes his uh, blue eyes sort of like shimmer for a second. Uh, he's gonna leap over, uh, oh, hang on. Expeditious Retreat is a bonus action. It's concentration up to 10 minutes. And when I cast this spell as a bonus action on each of my turns, I can use the dash action. So he is gonna dash over to Biff, say, Spellcaster's in the bath. If you want to leave, fine, abandon us. And then... Uh, he's gonna pull a spear out of his hammer p- space, but he's gonna do it from his pants and then wink at the camera to show, yes, he meant that. <laughs> um, and oh then he's just gonna roll to hit, <laughs> which is plus five. Even doing the right thing, Sugi is somehow the worst. Yeah, yeah. I know! He's the worst! I hate that I had to do that! <laughs> <laughs> that Does hits. 16 hit. That hits. Roll damage. Damage is 1d6 plus nine. Six plus three. Eight damage. So, nice. And anytime I attack, I then get to do an unarmed strike as well. Hang on one second. No prop. Why doesn't it show what the accuracy is for an unarmed strike? Uh, you mean the attack bone? Yeah. Yes. Uh, is it not dex and proficiency? Okay, that would be another five, so I'm okay with that. Five. I think you get it. Does that... an 11 hit? No, sadly not. Your hand kind of strikes against the metal, and you can just see the clung ringing through the statue. Yeah. And, um, but the, yeah. The your hand also, also goes through Suki's hand, to be clear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. 
makes his makes his whole hand jiggle once again. His face is completely still anime boy. Uh, me, me, both me and Kaiwa immediately <laughs> miming <same>. that <laughs> the second it got mentioned. Too. It's just, it's important. <laughs> Look, your tunes. This stuff is what has to happen. Come on, this is the basically <laughs> laws of physics for tunes. <laughs> All right, uh, Sugi. Was there anything else you wanted to do? I think you've used up like your bonus reaction and all of that. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, he legit just said either abandon us or stay in the back. All right. Uh, in that case, Biff, um, how are you doing? Hey, that was not very nice. Um, Biff is going to uh, reach into her hammer space and pull out. Uh, a big fuck off wrench. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Technically, uh, you guys should and... be doing hammer space rolls for these, but I'm not going to make you do them for like weapons. It's not we know funny where... if it happens now. It's just sad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not. You guys are trying to be um, badass. I just want to make sure. Does she get multiple? Trying to be badass for once. <laughs> no, not yet. Right. While this is going on, does anyone remember the particular right, manner in which you guys destroyed the door and or door frame for this room? No, good question. I Walked through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was it. Say, I think Punched it. through it and then unlocked it and opened it. That yes, was it. because yeah. we did the whole we did the whole like delicately opening the yes, handle from the other side. You gag. walked through the first door. Uh, this one, this one, you just like it's just got a hole through it. So, uh, good luck locking it. I guess. <laughs> we'll find the way. I don't think I get more than one attack yet. Okay, all right. No, Paladins I... get multiple attacks, but that's later on. Yeah, not not for level three. We're still baby. Baby. Ooh, Those twenty-three though. That, yeah, that hits. That fucking hits. Okay, cool. Um, that was my mace. Six. Oh, that's just on. a D. That's, yep, you yeah. forgot that. That's just a D. Seven damage. Not bad, not, not bad. This lion is already starting to look rather battered because while, um, while again, it's a lion, it can pr hit pretty hard when it wants to, even though none of y'all have been hit yet, it is also still an automaton going by the sounds of the clicking and clacking gears, which have suddenly gotten a lot louder and a lot more what clickier grindy and since you guys have started hitting it. Increase the jank. Pretty much. Yep. One of its legs isn't quite working right and it kind of stutters and jolts a fair bit. Uh, next up, we have Loki, who's just like, oh, what the... Uh, no, no, if I'm still trying to get out of here. Takes another go at kind of, like, whacking at the windows uh, with... One of you gave him a crowbar. I don't remember. It was who. his button. Oh, <laughs> oh his button. Button. not the brick. No, yeah, I gave yeah. the brick. Yeah. Oh, my God, it was. <laughs> I think it's all like, Tech, yeah, you, get, you gave him, like, a brick and like, came, he whacks against the window pane a couple of times, sees that that's still not working, turns around and then lobs the brick at the lion, and I'm gonna just roll uh, dex oh, plus proficiency, because I know he's not technically proficient in improvised weapons, but at the same time, I'm fairly sure he knows how to lob a fucking brick. It's funnier. Practice. He likes to think that he has um, Tavern Baller, which gives you a proficiency of improvised yeah. weapons. Yeah. That's a 15, which only just hits. Um, how much damage nice. does a fucking brick do? D4? Um, D4? D4? D4 seems alright. Let's just do a D4. Yeah. <laughs> hey! That's a, that's a nice. 4. Get him, Lucky. <laughs> that's yeah. my partner. Remember your roots! Yeah, this lion ain't looking great. Uh, it's like as this brick kind of shatters and you can see uh, the brick dust from the brick as it just fucking exploded against its flanks. You can see the brick dust sinking in through a couple of the seams between the joints and you can again, that gr gear grinding noise is just increasing, increasing. And we're back to top of initiative. Uh, Miss Foam. I almost That's... feel bad for the thing. Almost. <laughs> it hasn't gotten to do shit yet. <laughs> Miss Foam just nods to Lockie and heeds advice and starts leaving the room, but as she passes the line, she is going to... Ah, can I do this? Because um, attack of opportunity is a thing, but she is going to make a melee attack at the lion. 
<laughs> yeah, go ahead. As long as they're not trying to disengage, you can yeah. run up and blink them. Yeah, so you you can run close. You can't just you just can't also run away again. Yeah, okay. Um. Mm, yeah, I don't have anything. I'm just gonna do this because I think it's funny. Uh, a, a, a vine comes out, and I'm going to make a melee spell cast an attack, whatever that entails. I don't. I don't do melee spell attacks. What the hell? Okay. It's your uh, spell attack bonus. Okay. Does this hit? A seventeen hits. Yes. Deal. Roll damage. <laughs> this lion's having uh -oh. a bad time. <laughs> uh. Da -da -da. What is the D? It's that. Uh. So a vine comes out of the darkness and just whips across the lion's face in a slap for free Sm damage. <laughs> oh! <laughs> nice! <laughs> <laughs> you can actually see it knocking some, uh, like a plate or two off the neck of the lion as Whip it slaps against. So you guys get a wonderful look at some of the inner workings of this thing. <laughs> Um, Frankie. Um, yeah, Frankie is still sort of hovering by the door. She's got the she's she's pulled like her uh, the, her weapon out of the like her ha hammer space, which I think is like her handbag or something like that. Maybe I'm mm -hmm. not sure. And it's like it's like a sort of a bright pink Mary Poppins umbrella type situation, and she's sort of standing there holding it. Like it's like is everything is everything going okay over there? Uh, oh, and then like sort of ducks. Out the door. <laughs> yeah, and then just uh, she can't is, and then ducks as like a gear goes spinning over her head. She is not engaging. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Yeah, I'm just gonna just... stand here. <laughs> so helpful. So helpful. <laughs> okay, and hey, you're pulling the Tsuki from last game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which means we're back to the lion. Um, before I go next, I have a very important question that I actually do need to ask all of you. Uh, who's wearing the most yellow and or orange? Oh, good question. Suki is Probably black and white with blue some places. Okay, so no none. yellow on you. She's uh, got yellow buttons. Okay, that's something. Uh, Frankie, you're the most Frankie's hideously the mo rainbow. Yeah, Frankie's the most hideously brightly coloured thing in the whole mm. room. So, like, probably Frankie, probably right? Probably Frankie. Um, yeah, I was going to... Because, like, Ms. Foam, you're basically just green, aren't you? Green with Yellowy orange green. eyes. Yeah, like, Who's I think Frankie... Right? Like, I'm, I'm thinking back to the picture that Gwyn drew of Frankie. There's quite a lot of gold yeah. and shiny yellow on there. So, yeah, yeah probably Frankie. Yeah, because, like, Lockie, Lockie's all, like, a dark navy suit. So, in that case... Um... Oh, no! <laughs> this lion... That's 16 AC, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this lion is gonna be taking... Like, it's gonna take, like, a half step back... Then it coils itself back, and again, there's that crunching of gears as its wonky leg and everything, like, shifts about. But it coils up, and then it pounces right over Ms. Foam's head, especially as you are quite short. Uh, it is going to take a quick attack of... You guys will get a chance to do I an was going to say, can I get make <laughs> yeah, the thing is, it is technically still staying within range of you guys. It's not moving away from you, kind of just around you. Um, I, I'm willing to- As long as it's leaving, is it leaving my reach? No. Damn. Really? Again, you guys are in a really small room. There ain't much reach to kind of go around. This thing just kind of jumped over Ms. Foam's head. It's kind of, it would be on the equivalent of like, uh, the five foot diagonal from where mm -hmm. you're, where you are. So you're still within reach, but it's gotten now just close enough that it can take a bite at Frankie. Oh no! <laughs> because Frankie is wearing yellow. <laughs> Um, Frankie makes a noise that only dogs can hear. I think that doesn't does cover does does having cover affect a melee attack? Yeah. So, uh, what do you mean by melee attack? Well, so what does well, it, like, it's what cover? Like... <laughs> I thought Frankie was halfway out the door. I'd call that half cover. Hmm. You can do, you can you can say no if you if you I want. Mean, like, I'm, I'm gonna of... say I'm gonna say no for the sake of I don't want to have to roll even more fucking dice because neither of those attacks no, it, hit it, anyway. It just up her, <laughs> her AC. AC by two. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, neither of those attacks hit the AAC anyway. Um, oh, okay, I didn't even notice that. I was... <laughs> so don't no, no, you have you made a very good point, and thank you for bringing it up. But also, kind of doesn't matter because I keep getting real shit rolls. What is with this lion? Oh my god! Frankie squeaks. I'm just trying to make sure that the team is alive. We know that the stakes are high now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, it yeah. leapt over Ms. Foam's head, tries to take a bite out of Frankie when that goes fails absolutely and probably like bites Frankie's um umbrella instead. Yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> like reaches up one claw and goes to take a swipe and then its arm just kind of sticks and shudders and can't actually finish off the motion, and that is all the lion can do, and then we are um on Tatsugi. I hate this! It was a bad decision to play my first chaotic neutral character <laughs> yeah. in a long campaign. It was, <laughs> yes, absolutely. I want to help the lion, and he's <laughs> definitely just going to attack the thing. Oh. I'm so upset <laughs> To get a single fucking hit on you guys before you've wiped this thing out, basically. <laughs> you should have like you should you should have made it even harder. Good news is though, that doesn't hit. I still get an unarmed strike. <laughs> that ah! Nat 20 hits. Yes. You just punch the lion real good. What does it, it look makes like? Up for the first bit you missed, I guess. <laughs> What does, what does that look like, like though, Snail? What does that look like? Yeah. <laughs> Roll me damage first. Give us some cool shit. Um, okay, so are the way we're doing it that we double the damage rolled, or it's the max damage that could happen? Um, I, I, as a personal thing, I always like rolling double the damage dice. Okay, fair, fair, fair. fair. Um, so, that would be 2d4, same modifier, plus 3? Uh, uh, no, it would be, well, to be quite honest, I reckon if it's double, then it would be plus 6. It's the sort of thing where everyone has their own things. I like just doing double the dice. Ooh, 11. Uh, okay. That's 11. Okay. Um, I can tell you right now, you have killed this lion. You now get to go on a nice big ramble about how you did so and how it looks. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there goes that. Guys, I cannot emphasize enough how upset I am and how much Sugi does not care. No, trust, I'm quite upset too. I was quite hoping no, that we listen. wouldn't have to kill it because having a mechanical lion around would be so cool. Sorry, Liz, go on. <laughs> I've, I've been there, Snell, don't worry. <laughs> I hate all okay. of you. So, the poor <laughs> artist. Sorry. The fan artist. Think about them for a fucking second. Okay, okay, I'm doing this. Uh, oh. Tsugi, um obviously still has their spear, but... Uh, the lion has its back turned, um, and I could make that kind of Japanese joke, Naruto joke, but I'm not gonna, because Tsuki, instead of impaling the thing, just like he was facing one way, he turns the other way, and he just brings his spear down, um, and, and, like, right at one of the fracture points that's been mentioned previously. Um, and it's just like an arc of non-stop motion slams into um, the like weak point of the lion. And uh, let me ask, uh, Kai, does this count as a creature um, for a specific reason that I will... Uh, right. it's it's a construct, so I don't think it's technically a creature. Ooh. Um, it's probably not alive. Another, yeah, right? it's it's not alive. Yeah. So no, I All don't right, think it counts. Fair enough. Sadly. Uh, in that case, I will just go ahead and say Sugi was expect expecting his uh touch of death from his uh monk tradition to apply, and then it doesn't, and he sort of like blinks and look at the lion looks at the lion a little a little head tilted um even though he like logically understands that it's a construct his brain is still going wait i defeated something i i should be feeling better where's the dopamine <laughs> where's the hit. dopamine where's the feel good juice this just, this just in sugi has depression <laughs> don't, really? we don't we all don't we all 
Okay. I'm imagining this lion just like collapsing in like a. You, you know when something. You know that. Spring. You know that gag when something gets hit by lightning and they turn into like a charred pile of whatever and then they disintegrate, crumbling from like the feet up until it's just like a tiny bit just dropping. I'm imagining that, but like disintegrating into cogs. Yeah, yeah, basically. that That's basically what I, was, what I was actually doing was like just kind of staying there in one thing for a moment, looking perfectly fine, and then you just see it going spring and it just explodes out into a cloud of like gears and springs and sockets <laughs> just fucking look like everywhere all over the room you've got this green brass scattered all around this place now no one is going to take any damage from the stuff lying about but yeah no, it's just funny. you do get pelted with metal <laughs> you're welcome free scrap <laughs> free stuff free stuff well, that mm. was picked up some of the cogs. <laughs> I was about to tell you well done, but then you started looting the body. <laughs> I'm asking, Sugi isn't. <laughs> Sorry, I misheard. I, mean, I, I was asking if Miss Foam wanted to take the cogs. Oh, okay. There's there's no. enough <laughs> there's enough there you could share if you wanted. <laughs> I don't think Miss Foam is going to actively take the cogs. I was just imagining just one went into her face and just didn't come out the other side or whatever. <laughs> yep. It just disappeared. Like, <laughs> boom! <laughs> oh, God. That, oh. Yeah, that's gone. <laughs> um, no, uh, Frankie is uh, going to sort of uh, put the umbrella away and uh, step back into uh, the room. And that's like, now that uh, Erin, now that not like... Uh, it's, it's not an immediate murder zone. It's just going to be like, oh, well, yes, uh, well done, everybody, I suppose. Um, Biff, now, did we learn a lesson about not randomly punching things or picking up when we don't know what they do? Biff, um, looks at you, looks around the room, surveys all of the gears and such, uh, and she says, yeah, that kitty was a clock. <laughs> you are not incorrect. We'll we'll work on the rest later. Um, uh, and uh, Frankie is also going to ha has uh, is also going to just sort of reach up and like where the um where the lion sort of like clawed at like you know was clawing at like your face and like maybe ripped up some clothes. He's just gonna, just gonna use the cantrip mending just to like patch up some of uh, the claw marks and stuff on like your collar and all that it's a nice it's, it's just as a nice thing oh she oh, could just hey. about reach <laughs> so there's like one claw mark left like at the top of the shoulder because frankie can't reach that <laughs> yeah. quite that high <laughs> yes exactly she's trying very I mean, if hard if anyone can reach anything it will be frankie she's the second tallest <laughs> Yeah, she's fucking true. Oh god. Um, and yeah. So while we the... roll perception in the room to see if there's anything they missed. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> what uh, were you saying? Oh Liz? right. Oh, I'll go after. I forgot. My perception is bad. <laughs> well, not bad, but oh, that's good. Seventeen's not bad. Decent. Okay. With 17, I legitimately forget what information I gave you guys in the last session because my memory shit when it comes to this stuff um but yeah with a 17 again it's a little bit hard to tell stuff now that you guys have all been in the room making a mess but you with a 17 yeah there's nothing really about the lion other than you can see how it was put together you maybe have a little bit of info about how these automatons work if you can figure that out but that would need like investigation and or some sort of intelligence role rather than perception uh but yeah it's okay the room was already messy yeah pretty much <laughs> the, the room looking was, at my notes yeah the room was already a mess very specifically it looks like while the bed hadn't been made there was like a cover part of there was um dust over the bed and the bookshelf and kind of all that however the desk was a mess but the desk wasn't as dusty so that was maybe something um and yeah, the, there's lion bits everywhere. We found think, a book. Yeah, you found you found two books. Yeah, Frank, Frank Frankie still has yeah. those uh, actually. One was the what was it? An incomplete history of the rooks. Yes, I think mm -hmm. that was it. Which was a sort of a family tree 
Um, Am I Rook and Elias Rook? Yes. And Are the names uh, I have written down. There was also a, a, a dictionary of symbology or something like, like that. Like alchemy, a dictionary of alchemy symbols. Uh, yes. I forget. I forget the title. But again, um, yeah, Frankie is hanging on to both of those. By the way. Um, now, are these separate ones, or did I write them? Um, I have a magnum opus and a symbol dictionary. Oh, um, no, is magnum the opus is the symbol dictionary, isn't it? Yes. So, yes. Hype. I believe it was. And I wrote down the little symbols. Not like it's gonna. I can't like show you guys physically, but no, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys. We you found guys... a piece of paper or something. Yeah. Aquafortis. Yeah, you found it scattered on the desk uh, with that whole mess. So you have a, you have some more symbols. You did actually. One of the things you found out was that the symbol at the bottom of the paper that you found was for Aquafortis. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the speedy triangle. Yeah. The speedy, speedy triangle. triangle. All right. Um, was there anything else you wanted to do in this room? Uh... Can I actively do a investigation check? Because I just imagine Miss Foam shuffled away and wants to figure out how this line was constructed. Yeah, Even sure thing. She's not like an alchemist, the alchemist or anything. Um, that's just... <laughs> Lady Luck, take the wheel. All right, 15. I'll take it. Okay. What What exactly were you investigating there? Um. um sort of like the source of its power like how it was constructed like how much of this is arcana how much of this is like the, the fiddly bits of um cogs and um okay. mechanisms and stuff with a 15 i can say you do actually have a decent understanding of clockwork and all that um you also managed to find a rather large like a long and curling spiral of metal which you recognize as a type of spring and it's the sort of spring that you'd wind up and wind up and wind up and as it gets tighter it's obviously going to want to spring back out into a much looser curl and that's what provides the potential energy that powers the rest of the clockwork so this line was definitely clockwork with a 15 i will also give you the piece of insight that while this is a rather large and powerful looking spring and when wound up would be able to keep um this complicated mechanism going for a while it's probably only a matter of hours maybe a day at the very most rather than ah oh, yes this is something that will last for decades maybe centuries sort of thing okay mm -hmm. And it's just like magic sprinkled in in between just for other bits and bobs, or is it? Uh, uh no, oh, no. Is this... it like purely mechanical, or is there magic it's, as well? It's purely mechanical. Damn. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, that is that is a, an impressive feat of engineering. Yeah, it is. It's so much um... harder to do stuff without magic. I mean, he is walking out of the room. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> you guys are in a museum for automatons. Mm -hmm. Nope, fair also, enough. This is... That's where I'm, we are. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If you were hired, I hope you know where you are. <laughs> <laughs> to be quite sure, I don't think Biff ever really knows where she is. Anyway, let's, like, I'm with that guy and Loki is going to start following Sugi. I love how whenever you try to do I know, uh, uh, any fuck. kind of like maybe an estuary accent or something, you just go extremely ocker. <laughs> Shut up. I wasn't even trying to do an accent there, no, to be it's quite good. honest. It's no, it's good. I like it. It's funny. <laughs> I'm going to follow Loki. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Miss Fum. Miss Fum will ask, ah, where are you going, Sugi? Out of the room that doesn't have anything useful in it. To look at the other rooms that might help us out of this place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She'll just stay silent and follow you. No, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm guessing everyone's back out in the corridor now. Yeah. Uh, before we uh, decide to like go in uh, any other rooms, can I make uh, a history check to like n um, see if there's any useful information that I can pass from like the fact that like, because you said that the um the museum used to be owned by that family. Yes. Um, 
can I like make a history check to see if I rem uh I remember any like any extra information about that or yeah sure thing um I'm gonna uh justify this as um the fact that Frankie has the family tree book. has the family tree book and is uh, sort of leafing through it twenty two. <laughs> All right. Now, some of this information is stuff I may have given you in in previous sessions. I'm going to give it to you all again. With a 22, now that you've been reminded of the name and you've actually had a bit of a look through the family tree, stuff is starting to come back to you. You you know this place. You you've heard of the Museum Hermetica. Maybe some oh, maybe some textbooks from university, or oh, one of, maybe one of those old history sessions. But no, yeah, the Museum Hermetica is something. The museum itself was a thing around 150 nearly 200 years ago now and it was a whole thing it was an attraction like everyone did come to see the automatons even if it was kind of out in the middle of nowhere which considering how far you guys had to travel to get here yeah it is still out in the middle of nowhere um and then one day it kind of just closed down all the automatons turned off and the person running it was oh it was one of the rooks Elias, yes. Dr. Elias Rook was the one that actually turned the place from what used to be like an ancestral home to an actual museum for the stuff that he created. Um, so he was the one that ran that place and then just vanished off the face of Inkwell um, around 150 years ago and no one's really heard of him since. Except, obviously, this place is up and running again, and you're not quite sure what's up with that. With a 22, do we get any, do, is there any kind of hint as to, like, why the place shut down? Was it, like, maybe were there rumours of, like, a family argument, or financial troubles, or anything like that? There were some rumours of um, Elias going a little bit... Not crazy, but certainly getting far more distracted with other work rather than the automatons that he had built and needed to maintain to keep the museum running. Yeah. Uh, it was something along the lines of looking for a way to live forever. Oh, um, good! <laughs> Yeah, oh boy yeah. that so, has never but again, problems that's, that stuff that I'm going to say is like deep into rumour territory yeah, we don't yeah. know that for certain um, oh yeah totally but that's great that's <laughs> awesome. this, this was the sort of stuff yeah. that had been penciled like this in the history book that you read this in it had been penciled in by a student um, rather than you know actually being part yeah. of the text you were reading I, I'm also imagining like you know like a tabloid like a tabloid newspaper clipping or something of like sensational um, yeah if, if sensational yeah, yeah quite rumors or whatever pretty so much. Much. in the library they have like those like preserved newspapers yeah pretty yeah. much now mm. this is stuff that only frankie knows currently yeah um, no that's fair enough <laughs> so if you're gonna pass that on to other people you are gonna have to say um yeah well i mean while, while um uh if you for the moment she's gonna leave uh picking the next room to uh, Tsugi and uh, share what she's learned with with uh, Ms. Foam at least. Yeah. Oh, one other thing I will say is uh, when rumours were flying about everywhere, there were also rumours of a great ro unearthed rook treasure. Ooh. But you know that basically happens around every single mystery and also you were already told that there was going to be a big treasure at the end of this potentially deadly puzzle quest. So Nope, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, onwards. Mm. Uh, so we've gone through two of the rooms. Yeah. Aren't there four rooms? There were four rooms in total. There were, I think I said it was like two rooms on the left hand side, one room on the right, and then a door at the very end of the corridor. Uh, as well as like all the concept art for the various automatons actually in the corridor itself. Uh, Alright, can I get the other left door? Yep, other left door. All right. Um, yeah, give me a strength check to get the door open because it's locked. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, steps one step back, two step back, leans on yeah. the wall, waits. Well, it's a twelve. I mean, it's a door. Yeah, it's a door. Um, the, this handle does seem very firmly locked. <laughs> you kind of mm. jiggle a little bit and you maybe bend the metal out of shape a tiny bit but like no the door doesn't want to open for you mm. Biff is out of ideas <laughs> Biff is out of ideas <laughs> really? 
Is, does Lockie have well, proficiency in a fucking lockpick kit? Yes, he does. Okay. <laughs> I was like, Biff just looks at Lockie. Oh yeah, Lockie's yeah, 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 the yeah, idea. I get it. Out of the way, out of the way. Um, <laughs> just just so she looks so sad. Oh, oh. <laughs> Don't worry, kid. I got this one for you. Uh, and with a nat 20 there. <laughs> 20. Oh, yeah. Loki barely has to look at this lock and it just pops open. It's just kind of like, eh, ah, I see what your problem is right there. Tap, ding, click, and the door swings open for you guys. <laughs> it's like, uh, if there were any magic locks, they were also disabled with a nat 20. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and for everyone going into the room, give oh, me a perception um, check. No, oh. I will also. I just want to say, Frankie uh, l- looks just looks up, sees that Biff is standing by a hole, an o- a, a, a door that is open and is not been bashed up, and is just like, yes, exactly like that. Well done. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> okay. She winks at you. <laughs> Twenty-one uh, perception from Tsugi. Everyone else, oh, please do roll. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's done playing around. <laughs> mm. I don't think I have any. Do I have a thing for perception? I don't think I do. Where? Nope. Oh. Oh dear. Eh. Um. F. <laughs> the six is yours. The natural one is Biff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Biff. What does Biff see and attempt to uh, hit? <laughs> Biff, okay. As you kind of look inside this room, uh, you are now utterly convinced by the fact that you are no longer in, like, a mansion or anything. You've just walked into a dense rainforest. You are now out in the middle of the wilderness. There may Whoa. be a door behind you. There may not be. You are just surrounded by forest. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> to the rest of you, notably um, Ms. Foam and uh, M- Ms. Foam, Lockie and Frankie, you guys have walked into a bedroom that is forest themed. <laughs> 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 There's a lot of green. It does feel quite humid in here. While the other rooms felt more dusty, this place kind of feels a little bit more sticky. Um, and you notice that yeah. the reason behind it may potentially be the fact that there seems to be some sort of dripping contraption up in the corner feeding a couple of plants over there. Oh, I don't like dripping. So it, this, this place does feel quite humid and sticky. Uh, like, But there's, um, again, there's this lush green four-poster bed. There's a couple, like there's some wardrobes. There's a vanity mirror at the side. Uh, all the wallpaper has trees and such on it. It's that kind of place. They really were into their interior decorating in this family weren't they <laughs> and Tsugi with your turdy 21 um you do actually get a look around and you get a fantastic look at this place and you see again this place doesn't have a whole uh floor to ceiling bookshelf but it does have a small shelf above the fireplace where several books are placed and a couple of them look like really well used and like have little notes and pieces of paper sticking out of them and you also have another look at the plants that all the water is kind of set to go up and there's a flower there that's really pretty looking flower and really fresh looking flower like all the other plants like they're surviving they're still alive that flower there like you'd be convinced it was plastic if it didn't have like that very particular soft like it lacked that shine that plastic plants tend to have this thing looks very very alive we found we found (laughs) where Flower, Frankie, books, I'm out, next room. (laughs) Who put you in charge? (laughs) I'm the only one who noticed those things instead of just the forest, so... He sort of, like, shrugs in an intentionally irritating way. You really need to work on your attitude, young man. Cut to Biff, and she's, uh, changed into, like, a cave person outfit. (laughs) Um, She has... She's trying to start a small fire. <laughs> yes! Roll me survival, please. <laughs> yep, you got it. Sorry. A 15. 15. You successfully start a small fire. I'm not sure what with or where you got the wood from, but you've got a fire in the middle of the floor there. Congrats. <laughs> Woo! Biff actually cheer? Yes. 
<laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> babe, what are you doing? We got, we got to survive. <laughs> Looks around in this room. I don't believe we need to survive in this tacky room. You can extinguish the fire now. You want me to do what with the fire? Extinguish. Too many syllables. <laughs> um, <laughs> three. Three. I believe she's Sorry, telling you. <clears throat> I believe she's three syllables. Yep. Sorry, go ahead. No, I believe she's telling you to put it out. What? Why did you? Where did you get that light? That leopard skin. <laughs> oh, um, it's just a little something I had. Um, you got any water? <laughs> I guess, well, I guess we have Pretty a look sure around. We do. <laughs> I, I love how if, if all else fails again, there is that weird contraption in the corner providing water to the plants. <laughs> That's true. But a squirt of water just emits from Miss Foam's face as she throws the water skin onto the fire. <laughs> Nice. Love that. I'm gonna it's like a fire engine. <laughs> I'm just imagining like a little hose now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It, like, um, nods approvingly, but does look a little disappointed. Oh. Hey, 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 Miss Foam, look at the flower. You're the druid here. Look at the flower. Come on, Biff. Up, 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 up. And he like gently like holds Biff's hands, but doesn't actually pull up because he knows that he won't win in a strength contest. He's yeah. just like trying to convince Biff oh, that's like to sweet. stand um, up. Um, yeah, no, she does. And he's like, you and me, we're together. Come on. I know. I know. It's really hard when people put out your fire. Come on. Up, up, up. <laughs> we'll survive together then. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, totally, 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 my guy. Absolutely. We, you and me, you and me, we got it. We're just going to stay over here to guard the forest while these two do their nerd thing. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I got to say I'm with this kid. <laughs> Places are uh, certainly got a theme going on, and I can't say it's really my thing. <laughs> Frankie just mm. kind of rolls her eyes, uh, but does go over to look at the the books and the water contraption, whichever's closer. Uh, probably the books above the fireplace. Book time. Book time. Okay, give me investigation on the books. Find that um, Biff is in the frame. She's wearing her normal outfit again. Okay. <laughs> God, that I I do think that is the funniest joke that's happened all campaign. Okay. Just the fact that it came <laughs> out of left field. They're books on plants. With an eleven, they're books on plants. A couple of them look well, very well read and have like notes and stuff in them, but they're mostly just lots and lots of books on various plants. I'm gonna. Uh... Well, Kai, that's not very nice. You're gonna smother them. <laughs> <laughs> to scorch the plants, Kai. This is why none of our plants are growing, Kai. You just keep stacking books on top of them. I still think that I need that, that we need to make fucking negative inspiration points a thing. <laughs> just, just drastically impose disadvantage whenever you no, feel most fit. No, no, not even disadvantage. Because if we make inspiration points nat twenties, I need to just make you instantly f like crit fail In roll whenever once. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, I'm. I'm going to explain uh, this as a lack of attention to the fact that Frankie is still quite annoyed at uh, uh, Sugi. Um, I am. Uh, she is going to grab the ones who that look the most used, but she's not going to look at them. She's just going to pull them off. She's going to be just hoarding books. <laughs> yeah, just hoarding books. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, Ms. Foam. Did you want to do anything? Yeah. That Sugi uh, pointed out the very nice plant that was growing on the ceiling of this room. Uh, it's not the ceiling. Um, it's in like a little pot right next to one of the windows. Okay, that's bad. I do not need to use that spell slot then. She is going to uh, investigate slash do a nature check on what kind of plant this is and its properties. Please do. Okay. I'm so funny that she has a zero to nature. Yeah, how... It's just... Right. Wow. You're a druid. Because it's intelligence. I mean... It's intelligence. And she, she has not... She has ten. 
<laughs> That's a three. Mm. I mean, like, M- Ms. Phone, it does seem to be mostly made out of, like, dead things is the impression I got. Mushrooms and things like that, as opposed to, like... <laughs> With a three, you think this thing might be some sort of, like, a daisy. No, 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 no. It's kind of like, it's got the curvy bit that, no, no, it's a daffodil. No, this thing's probably a daffodil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's too focused on trying to identify the name of it than trying to remember what uh, environment this plant could have been in. So, yeah, yeah unfortunately. With, with, with a three, because it's not an absolute crit fail, I will give you, this plant looks very, very alive. You have no idea what the fuck it is, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 don't, I, I don't mean to double dip, but can I check it? Do a, like an investigation to see if it's been like watered. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, you can, how like, has it been maintained? Say like investigate the soil and its surroundings and such. Yeah, go ahead. Mm-hmm. But this room is significantly less. Is it less dusty than the other rooms that we've been? Yeah, I guess it's, it's, it's not dusty. It's more just humid, and that's an eleven. Okay, with an eleven. The plant does look like it's been watered recently. The soil is quite damp. Uh, you look and like there's a couple of little tubes and everything that le- like point towards the soil. And as you watch, there's like a drop of water falling off it. And you look up, and these tubes again like go into this massive contraption, which is like stuck into the wall. And you can see other like other tubes all also leading into all the various other plant pots. Um, but that's about all you're getting there. Okay. Uh, she's going to turn around um, and say Sugi just yell from the doorway <laughs> can we go to Sugi uh, and Biff who is sitting on the ground trying to teach Sugi how to play like patty cake yes <laughs> And I want to be clear, Sugi is so confused by patty cake. No, you gotta re-explain it to me, buddy. You gotta, no, you you gotta, gotta go, go over it again. You gotta take your hands, right? And then you you put them together, and then you put them with one of my hands. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You gotta start over, buddy. You you take your hands. Yeah, then yeah, what? yeah, yeah. You put, you, do them, you put them together. You put them to your hand. He presses against uh, yeah, Biff's yeah. hands, which are closed. No, not that part yet. That part's next. You have to do those. That part's part next. Oh, uh-huh. this is so confusing. And then <laughs> you've been called and over. And then, and then we hear Tsugi. <laughs> yeah. Was there a particular? Oh God. Was there a particular reason why you called attention to this? plant or was it just that you liked daffodils <laughs> this is not Biggie, a daffodil. like does the office slow blink and then sort of stands up and goes all of the other plants are dying one plant is flowering that doesn't seem suspicious to you Oh, for Pete's sakes, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna roll his eyes like I I don't know how to explain it, but he's like gonna walk with like his hips first, uh, just sort of like like head thrown back, like oh, yeah, you know, I can picture that. <laughs> and and he's gonna he's gonna roll nature. Um, nature is I was right. And I am going to use my point of inspiration because I refuse to let this go. No, this would be so much funnier if it's just three. You also think it's a daffodil. No, I can't do this. I want to progress in the story. Can Biff take a look? Yeah, you can. He's more high than a three. I will tell you. 18. 18. I'll tell you right now, this flower is entirely optional to the story. (laughs) Yep. Fuck you, fine, fine. I don't use it. my inspiration point. I can't believe this. You gotta stop describing things, Kai. <laughs> this, this flower is entirely optional to the story. And I'm so like, so save well, your inspiration like this point. flower is entirely optional, first of all. <laughs> With that 18, 
though, Biff, you absolute uh, master of botany, you recognise this uh-huh. as an orchid, and in fact, it's a very, very rare type of orchid. You can't remember the name of it at the moment, or you can't, it's less, you can't remember the name, it's more you don't recognise the exact species, but you know, like, mm. the colouring on the petals there, and how fresh and green the leaves look, this has got to be, like, a very important and rare type of orchid, and it's strange that it would be flowering in a place like this, but at the same time, like, maybe that's why the room's also so humid and I suppose actually again you still think you're kind of in a forest like not entirely but there's still that little bit in the back of your brain that um she's not really thinking about it yeah so it's she's a bit just looking at the flower right now yeah so like this this flower like all right makes sense that it would be blooming in a place this humid but at the same time some orchids don't but some orchids do you you basically you know this is a very rare flower it is potentially something that has other properties because if something's really, really rare, it sometimes mm. means it's good at doing a thing or helpful as like potions ingredients or something along those lines. Um, yeah. However good an it's 18 is, this. yeah, however yeah, good an 18 is on, on its own, it's not good enough to tell you exactly what's going on with this flower. Well, Biff just kind of muses for a second, looks at that, looks at the other kind of flowers that are around or plants that are around. Well, this one probably likes the the humidity of the of the jungle environment that's going on here. Uh, I think it's it should kind of like looks from a different angle. Probably an orchid, but I don't know the exact kind. Um, but it's got to uh... be pretty rare because I know a lot of the uh, the common ones at least. So it's there's probably something special about it, especially since it has been uh, cared for pretty much. Um, way more than all the rest of these uh <laughs> my guy i'm sorry to say the mushroom was right this is a daffodil <laughs> oh okay I didn't even put puzzles or anything in these rooms, and yet you'll still spend like a solid hour yeah. in each of them. Yeah. <laughs> like, Fra- Frankie is going to, Fra- Frankie is uh, just going to sort of uh, wave ahead like daffodil, orchid. It doesn't matter. Sugi, weren't you going to investigate that other room? Uh, so Sugi hasn't heard Biff talk like an expert very much. So I think Tsugi is going to take the daffodil and put it in his hammer space. And one thing I will mention is, no, his hammer space does not exclusively come out the front of his pants. He literally (laughs) puts it up his shirt. He only does that for when he pulls out his spear. (laughs) It's the fucking So so anywhere in his design that, like, has that sort of has that sort of black stylized stuff, that is any place that can become hammer space. (laughs) He only uses it as his pants when he's pulling out the spear. I hate him. Please Thank no you. I hate him oh, too. Thank you for this cursed knowledge. You're very Words, welcome. You hang on. Anyway, he puts it. Biff? He put. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, no, he puts it in there. Uh, Biff says, "Hey, wait a second. I got. Um, you're gonna want this too." Um, and she reaches into her hammer space. Pulls and with out. that tasty nat one, what does she pull out? A rubber chicken. <laughs> a rubber chicken. <laughs> and it bonks Sugi on the head. She like hands it off to him before realizing that's not what she was trying to pull out. Whoa, wait a sec. Uh, and she reaches into her hammer space and pulls out. <laughs> or, yeah. Why is it? Oh, it's because Caps Lock is on. <laughs> She reaches into her hammer space again. Oh, hello? Where, what the... Ma- where are you Ice rolling, Mark? Oh, Mark, Mark, you're trying to... Mark, you're trying to roll in, oh, uh, in, in my DMs. How did I get in there? What? <laughs> well, in the game zone. I'm not going to be in the gallery. The this, this person ain't even in there. You're just like sending it um, to Jay going like, roll me a d10, wow. roll me a d10. I was really good. Hey, hey, roll me a D10 real quick. Um, she actually does grab this time a little spray bottle. 
Oh, a little mister. You're gonna want to keep the humidity up. Oh yeah, totally, totally. I'll make sure we get this daffodil well taken care of. Um, Suki keeps both the rubber chicken and the spray <laughs> bottle and puts it in his hammer space. That was a stealth roll. <laughs> we can. Oh. We will yeah. <laughs> Suki, please add one rubber chicken to, to your, your inventory. inventory. <laughs> All right, so I've got one daffodil. It's a fucking orchid. <laughs> orchid. <sighs> we do try to keep these games going next, at a, a pace, but like next, it's a fucking next orchid. room. <laughs> I'm I'm so glad I settled into this being a long campaign because at this rate you're gonna spend like three whole sessions trying to go down a single corridor. There's still another oh, yeah. three corridors after this plus a whole what? other section of the museum that you haven't been through. Yeah, we maybe we maybe need to pick up the pace a little bit and maybe not open every <laughs> single door. <laughs> anyway, All right. onwards. You're back out in the corridor. Opening the door isn't the problem. <laughs> yeah, it's all the it's the endless, endless skits and bits that we cannot stop ourselves from committing to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and all I right, love okay. you all for it. This is why I chose you guys. <laughs> anyway. Um, is anyone else getting to that door first? No, Frankie's still Suki's in the rainforest not. room. I wanna be clear. Suki has expeditious retreat. He could dash over. He's not. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Gonna walk casual. Happen. <clears throat> cool, solid. Um, speaking of solid, Biff is gonna go walk over to the door uh, and open it. Okay. Fantastic news. You don't have to roll for it. It's unlocked. <laughs> nice. Uh, you can just open this door and um, actually, a uh, quick question. What's your passive? It comes off the hinges. It, it comes off the hinges. <laughs> it does not come off the fucking hinges. Can I get your perception check? P passive yeah, perception. Okay. <laughs> It's just so dirty. <laughs> One well, moment. That, uh, obviously, she doesn't see anything. The door's in the way. <laughs> yeah, because it didn't come off the hinges, Kai. Kai, please. Kai, please. Biff can't see now. <laughs> We're allowed to bully Kai again because they've removed the lion no, from our vicinity. No more. What happens? No, no, okay, no. I promise, no more, no, no more. Right. Again, because, you know, I may have, you, I, the lion may be removed from the vicinity. You don't know what's behind this door. It could be an army of yetis here to beat you all up. <laughs> Biff explodes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, Biff opens the door and then, like, rotates with it as it opens, so she's still facing the door. Okay. <laughs> I think what has happened, and I think an expression of that stealth roll, is you have now completely <clears throat> mutilated the door handle on oh, this side stealth? of the door. Oh, no, 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 it's a strength. Strength. <laughs> that 21 yeah, that you rolled. Yeah, the 21 was strength, the 3 was perception. Yeah, no, so the 21 you roll, I think with that, is like you give a tug on the door, and because your perception was so fucking low, you have no idea why this door didn't just crumple and burst into splinters like all the other doors have so far. But you do look mm. down and you know, hmm, that door handle certainly isn't shaped like a door handle anymore. It's kind of just a cool little shrunken up little shriveled thing uh, where your hand was resting on it. I hope you don't need to use that again anytime soon. Uh, <laughs> but the door is, in fact, open because it was hand? unlocked. <laughs> Your hand is fine, don't worry. Okay. The room is full of lions, you die. No. That's my favorite hand. <sighs> oh, heck, I, I was muted. Guys, we gotta stop doing bits. We gotta go. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with my bit right now. But, okay. but Biff does not Everybody see anything roll. in this room. Yeah, Biff, Biff, you don't see shit. Everyone else, I'm gonna say, as soon as the door is opened, you all can hear the uh, sound of running water. Ooh. Can, can I roll perception to see what the source of this water is? Yes, please. That's that's a seven from Tsugi. Uh, Looks like this two, like maybe. there seems to be like two figures in this room. You can't see too clearly. It's kind of dark in there, but it looks mm. kind of like two people looking shapes. Long place. Long place. Don't... Yeah, if you don't Door, roll it in the game zone, three. I'm not counting the roll. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take that 19. 19. Anyone else want to do perception here? No, Frankie's still in the uh, the rainforest room. I haven't had a chance to look at the uh, water tank yet. Alrighty, uh, splitting the party already. Love this. 
All right. And, we're a, yeah. we, we, we are literally across the corridor from each other. <laughs> um, I do. And both keep moving. I'm going to... Biff is going. <laughs> okay, no, I gotta ask. Um, with that nineteen, um, t- uh, Ms. Foam, are you walking into the room to take a look? Are you peering in from outside? Uh, peering in from the doorway. Okay. Oh, like <laughs> underneath Biff's legs or whatever the yeah. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> takes her half this vision. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, she's like a wall in and of herself. But... I love her. I love her so much. But dear gods. All right. Yeah. So, Ms. Fem, you peer in and you also see two um, human-like figures standing in there. And they seem to be like holding things up. And you kind of sp- uh, like squint a bit closer and your eyes adjust to the darkness of the room a tiny bit. Because it's not complete dark. It's just a very like cool uh like dusky sort of darkness and you notice that no wait those aren't people those are more statues and they appear to be made of stone and they are holding uh amphoras up over their shoulders as these two like very prettily carved stone ladies hold these amphoras up and you've got water trickling out of these two amphoras into a basin and then it drains away um down the bottom because you can't actually see any pool of water there it's just draining down uh the rest of the room looks reasonably plain um and like there's some nice patterning on the wallpaper but it's all just kind of abstract wavy looks um that's more or less all there is in this room there's like uh, well that's more or less all you can see from the doorway (coughs) okay oh wait no there's Um, one other thing the ceiling is quite low i forgot to add that like compared to the corridor um, which has quite high vaulted ceilings um the ceiling in that room is reasonably low which side is this room on? Just this. I, this I is the know. room at the very end of the corridor. Okay. Huh. Okay. Um, Miss Foam is going to take a, a lap around the room. You said the water was just trickling down, but didn't. Um, yeah. Like all into a basin or anything. Yeah. Well, I mean, like it's going into an em- like a basin that is empty because you can kind of see a drain at the bottom of it that all the water's flowing into at a faster rate than it can pull up. So, um, okay. Yeah, there's nothing really there. If you're inside the room, uh, I will say continuing going off that 19, you also kind of see a little uh, hole in the wall that seems to be on the same side as the little as the foresty bedroom would be sitting, um, and that kind of there's like a little pipe connected to that and sticking into like just underneath one of the um amphoras where bo- water is pouring out so um you can presumably connect that to where it belongs you presume a lot oh, no, I'm I saying, sorry. <laughs> okay i'm saying there's a little there's a little glass tube that has come through a hole in the wall from whereabouts where the forest bedroom would have been and it goes underneath to one of the floors, it's collecting some water, the water is going through the tube, and then presumably into the forest bedroom. You, you, you know that whole watering contraption there that was keeping the plants watered? <laughs> oh, are we disconnected? Liz, Liz you there? Oh, Liz? We've lost Liz! Oh no! no Liz is dead! dead! Oh They're my god, dead we, and we killed them. They died! Oh, no. We've make freaking lost her. <laughs> I can't this believe gone. they're dead. I was just about to say Tsugi goes to the other room to hassle Frankie so that we didn't have to uh, uh, have the party completely spill it up, but I guess <laughs> I have Liz to stay here because Liz is dead. dead. Liz is oh just my back god. And gone. Oh no. Oh. Hi, Liz! Liz! Hi! The return uh, of the to, Liz. Are you okay? Had, yeah, I just had to wait that out as soon as I saw I heard nothing and I just had to sit patiently. But oh. um I I did get that uh uh the glass uh tube uh was connecting to what I presumed the direction of the rainforest. Yeah. I inf- yes, yes, yes. Yep, yeah, yeah. It's yep, it's cool. the thing watering the plants. I'll give you that. <laughs> okay, uh yeah, that's that's ju- that's all you really notice for this room. Okay. I will mention Sugi is gonna go hassle Frankie purely for the sake of not entirely splitting no, up no, the party. No, no, that's fine. That's and fine. Leaving, and leaving Frankie the 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 eleven uh, <laughs> uh, 
armor class alone. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Got, like, a it's still got box. That's fine. While, as long, well, I mean, yeah, that's an hour. That's an hour. <laughs> yeah, you're good. It's I'm probably good. been all 15 minutes. Um, yeah, yeah, no. Frank, Frankie comes along. Obviously, there is bickering. We do not need to roleplay the bickering. <laughs> <laughs> all uh, right. Is this all the rooms? Yeah, this is this is all the rooms. Um, is everyone else? Is anyone else going to be go? Oh, wait, actually, better question. Biff, have you been holding the door open for everyone as they come poke about? Uh, yeah. Just standing directly facing the door. <laughs> yeah, I'm standing, I'm facing the door up against the wall. Yeah, fair enough. Haven't oh. moved yet. Uh, uh, what, one thing that Frankie is going to do, seeing as the, the two things uh, are collected, um, <clears throat> uh, is, is, uh, am I, uh, allowed to say that I have some kind of, like, water skin or water holding thing? On me, yeah. Is that allowed? Most the little, little like you, water no, bottle you, or something. You've got, you've got like uh, one of those water bottles that often get used for like power shakes and shit. Yeah, yeah. One of one of those oh infusers. God. One of those tea infusers. Yeah. Um, so she's she's going to uh, collect some of the water from the fountain. Okay. And take uh, with it because if that was what was being used to water the orchid that still looked super alive, and we're dealing with something called aqua fortis then well the uh, the life water the strong water is probably important so they're going to take uh, uh they're going to take uh, some of that um very important that that was question. A thing. i never very wrote that part question. down uh yes did Susie? they take did they take whatever infuser was in the bottle out before they collected the strong water oh good question it would be funnier to say no. no. It would be funnier to <laughs> okay. say no, but what, like, what have you just infused this water with? <laughs> um, 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 those little, those little, you know, those little red licorice whip things. <laughs> you know those, <laughs> like Twizzlers, like Twizzlers. What? Oh, oh God. God, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> now it's flavored strong water. <laughs> What, did you want me to apologize? I am incapable of making a normal character. You know this. Look, okay, it's fine. Um, it'll be later. Anyway, it, it's, it's the most normal thing about Frankie right now. So. <laughs> but yeah, now we have slightly, slightly Twizzler flavored uh, strong water. Yeah. Okay. Does anyone else coming into this room want to do perception rolls and shit? <laughs> I think we all did yeah. one, didn't we? No, I think the grand the grand total of perception rolls was a three from Biff and then the nineteen, 19. from Ms. Foam. I mean, there's a seven here that's from Sugi, isn't that? Oh perception? wait, was that, was that your perception? The seven, yeah. Oh yeah, it's complete. I completely missed that one. I do apologize. Oh, I'll I'll do, I'll no, do one okay. just for the sake yeah. of it, but it's I've got a minus two. Oh yeah, no, no, I did. Ah, zero. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to deal. You don't have to deal with it if you don't want to. <laughs> I, was like, I did actually deal with that seven from Tsugi, and it said like, yeah, yeah, you saw two figures in the room. Oh yeah, and, that was it. That uh, was oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's zero. You, you are now convinced of this room with the water around you, the little wavy, the wavy things on the wallpaper and everything. You are convinced that this room is trying to drown you. Oh right, leaving immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie, can ju Frankie just staggers out, <laughs> looking kind of seasick. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Sugi waltzes out after Frankie, um, clearly prepared to tease her about this, but we're not going to go into that. No, we move. more oh bickering, God. more bickering continues. Uh, I think like while you guys are doing all your bickering, and this phone, this phone's kind of poking about. Um, Lockie is actually going to call Biff over for a second and just go like, uh, Biff, Biff uh, come on here, kid. Come, uh, got something done. Um, and like what? waves you over. Is he, is he in the room? Uh, no, Probably. it's a little bit further down the corridor, kind of back to like more closer to where the forest door was. Um, it's the sort of thing like uh, just okay. far enough away from everyone else that like he can kind of beckon you down a little bit, get your head on his level, um, and kind of whisper some stuff to you. Oh, all right. Um, Biff does let go of the door, so if anyone wants to do anything about that, it closes. Um, but we'll get back to that in a second. Oh dear. <laughs> All right. Uh, kid, 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 uh, kid. Yeah, what's up? I, 
We know there's some pretty funky stuff going here, and I've got to say, this corridor doesn't really seem to have any exits, and it's... Yeah, they got a whole jungle in here. Yeah, and yeah I know, the, the jungle's pretty cool, but again, like, all these windows, oh, there's something about them, you get the little tingles when I go near them, like, and the brick didn't work. I reckon this place Are might you be... allergic to windows? I'm so sorry to hear that. Kid, kid. <laughs> kid. Reckon there's some sort of magic bullshittery going on here, and like oh. there's there's something going on that's locking there's that's locking us in this place. And we were told that we were meant to keep everybody in, but you know what? Everybody's not meant to include the people who are doing the locking, and I don't think we really belong here. What say oh. you? We take the nearest opportunity we can to get rid of this lot and just get out of here. Especially if this place is gonna throw more things that like are lying at us. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm okay. gonna have to talk to the boss about it, though. Thought I was the boss. Well, you're the boss here, but, like, the big, the bigger boss, because... Oh, yeah, 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 no, no, we'll bring that you up with know... afterwards. But, like, it's, 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 we can't exactly go telling the boss if we don't get out of here alive, yeah? Yeah... Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah we could do that. Alright. Now, I'll tell you what. I do want to like, have a test because, like, oh, I'm pretty sure I've got some muscles, but I reckon you've got a couple more muscles than I do. Wouldn't mind you taking a swing at one of the windows back there. Where, uh, does he point? Where's he point? Uh, back through the forest room, just because that's the closest. Hmm. I mean, yeah, Biff will go in and, like, size it up. That, like looks at it. She does a thing where like she takes her finger and like runs it down, and it makes a really loud oh, squeaking like, sound. Oh, I can't do it. I can sometimes do finger. it on my laptop, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> sort of mm. thing. Yeah. Um. Let's see. She's gonna. <laughs> I will make the roll for this, uh, but she's going to reach into her hammer space. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. And pull out her big fuck off wrench. Yep. Uh, and like a batter, like a baseball player, uh, she will, you know, swing it back and then, you know, try and smash that window. Yeah, give me an attack roll on the window. I We will get back to the rest of you, Lord, I promise. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. We're perfectly happy to be... That's 18. A, 18. 18 is not bad. And 18 is strong enough that, like, when you hit the glass, you hear what would be kind of like the, the faintest, barest beginnings of what should be glass shattering with an almighty crack. Huh. Like, da, 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 da. However, you kind of get this feeling as you do, the old wrench bounces off it. And you can kind of see this slight flare of magic as that goes and quickly repairs the tiniest crack the instant it happens. And you get confirmation that, yeah, these things are not meant to be breakable. Um, and I will let you mull that over. Um, while can I actually get a little bit of flavor from Tsugi and Frankie as you guys are arguing? <laughs> Meanwhile, again in the background, the door is just to the the room where Ms. Fob has been wandering around. Just go. <laughs> so, <laughs> also Tsugi. in the far background, in the very far background of it, there's um. That, that original sound, but then there's also like the sound of her hitting it over and over. There's like a jackhammer noise at one point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Tsugi, Frankie, how you are? How are you doing? Well, all I'm saying is that such a troublesome disposition is usually indicative of some deep-seated personal traumas, and that if you wanted to become more pleasant to those around you, then you might want to do some personal reflection, as it were. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, 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 go on. <laughs> please, as uh, out of character, please don't ask me to continue to do this. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry, that was Sugi being... Oh, being... no, 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 I, I, know I... It, I know it was in character. <laughs> it's just like, that's like... <laughs> <laughs> continuing and in that same vein <laughs> Frankie Tsugi, will continue Tsugi, like, 
So he like has has his arms behind his back and is just looking and nodding and nodding and eventually goes, "Well, you see, here's sort of here's sort of the problem with with all that, uh, Ms. Frankie. Can I call you Ms. Uh, Absolutely Ms. not." So it's Miss. Miss Frankie. <laughs> Here's the thing. Um, I don't give a peck what you think about me. So trying to change my disposition for your comfort sort of seems counterintuitive to what I want to do, which is just... Bully everybody you. around you. Yes, I managed to get that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're a smart cookie when you're not trying to lecture everybody. Yeah! You are a despicable person. <laughs> and I love and that. And he, he actually chuckles at that, straight up. <laughs> I love that, I love that. And with that, I'm going to cut to Miss Foam briefly here. Um, uh, you do kind of get like this barest bit of warning before the door clicks shut behind you because you do hear the slight creak and you can hear all the noise uh, that everyone is making out there get quiet and quieter and you notice the lights from the corridor kind of dim and dim and then the whole click and now you are stuck in this room. Um, you do notice though that even though with all the lights in the corridor now blocked out, it isn't completely dark. It takes a moment for your eyes to adjust, but like you out of everyone here are used to kind of some of the darker spaces. And it takes a moment for you to notice, but the where all the light in this room isn't coming from a chandelier or lanterns on the walls. It's actually this very, very faint blue glow coming from the water itself and with that do we want to take a five ten minute break sure yeah oh, sure. <laughs> all right everyone go like refill your water bottles grab snacks do all of that sort of stuff uh i will yeah. see everyone back at at latest uh quarter to six hi hi captain Got it. be back it was an accident oh wait they can't hear me <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna drown this foam now. <laughs> no! The room's gonna I fill up with the glowing go. water. Goodbye! I've accepted her death, don't worry. <laughs> you can only go up from here. Liz, you are like one of the people in this party that I respect. <laughs> so, like, don't worry, I'm not killing this foam. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, time for, time for me to catch up on the hazelnut gallery. How are y'all doing? <laughs> You're dead. Lewis, you're not allowed to be dead. <laughs> Ugh, absolute nonsense going on. <laughs> now that everyone's kind of wandered off, can I just say, there's a reason that I, even with that, like, what, 23, that Biff did not get to rip that door off its fucking hinges because that would break the puzzle. <laughs> there's a puzzle going on here. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much, Lois. <laughs> I'm back. I can make an in-universe reason for it as well, but also at the same time. <laughs> Just sitting here going, no, no, it doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Maud, that's the other thing I'm laughing so much where everyone's going strong water. It's the fact that, like, this is acid. You're talking about fucking acid. Whenever you're talking about strong water, it's fucking acid. <laughs> <laughs> it's aquafortis. Yeah, but it's magic acid that makes plants grow better. <laughs> no. <laughs> You'll have missed the point slightly. No, no, this is how alchemy works. This, this is... <laughs> I, the, the absolute <laughs> hell of as a dm have i explained this poorly or are my players just that dense no we're really just very stupid <laughs> it's strong water because it hurts the you correct the water is stronger than my skin 
<laughs> That's not what I'm saying you've got wrong, but okay. <sighs> I had to do so much... Like I, I, I'm still in the middle of so much chemistry research for the sake of this fucking um, section of the campaign. I hate it. I hate every second of this. I was the physics nerd in school, not the chemistry nerd. <laughs> Fuck chemistry. <laughs> I probably actually shouldn't have this on my lap because that will actually, yeah, it'll possibly fiddle with the things. Uh, are people talking in chat or is it just you and me? Uh, it's just it's just us. Everyone else is kind of on okay, and cool, off. Cool. Gwen, that is a really cool lion. Oh! Yes! Oh, that's extremely that's good. Really cool. Also, people listening to this um, after I've posted up onto YouTube, I will try and put those markers you do so you can kind of skip over this segment and go straight to the next segment and just pick up the rest of the campaign and skip over this bit, but also I've never added those to my videos before, so this'll be fun. Hi, how's it going? Hey! I'm back. I cast a bonk with It's super easy, guy, but I can show you as well. I'm eating right now, so... I, 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 will, I will figure it out, yep. but if I need help, I will definitely ask. Thank you. I'm also going to eat a snack, so sorry for ears in advance. Also, it's raining pretty hard out, um... So if you're like, what's that background noise, or hear it in the recording, that's what that is. No, no, no. What it is is ambience, like ambience, because ambience, ambience. in the water room. Exactly. Oh, bye, mod. Bye, bye. bye. All right. <laughs> Please do not drink the strong water. Yeah. <laughs> What, but what about if it's strawberry flavored? It's strawberry flavored now. Even if it's Twizzler flavored, you are not a, not meant to drink the fucking strong water. You're going to drink the strong water, Kai. If you, do, you can't you, stop me. You are going to take damage. The sad thing about playing a character with a brain cell who is not Doctor Worm means that I can't just randomly eat things. <laughs> Again, you're the fucking straight man of this group. We have this whole conversation. <laughs> Wild, please, no, don't give them bad ideas. <laughs> they get enough of them on their own. What's this? Give me <laughs> this at the bottom of it, like, uh... Chug it, chug it, chug it! <laughs> I can't believe you guys are condoning flavoured strong water. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's also an important thing you'll have missed here, but, like... What? <laughs> this is why we investigate everything. Oh, wait, I don't. Or is it missed? Or is it? I think it might be misinterpreted. Would be a better word to use there. <laughs> mm hmm. And that's perfectly fine. That's, that's all the mistakes that we can make on our own. Yeah. Yep. Why is the strong water glowing though? It isn't. What? Nice. It's strong water, my dude. It's water. Oh, it's so strong. it's not that strong. It's not really that strong of water, then, if it's not glowing. Gods. No, I can't believe no, you gave us that means it's full of plankton water. and algae if it's glowing. I'm pretty sure I know this. Yeah, yeah. I took... I I lived in Monterey. I learned things. Uh, yeah, I lived in Monterey back when I was, like, ten, but... Yeah. I learned things. That knowledge is serving you well now in D&D. &D. All right. What makes water? No, I'm pretty sure glow. it's like algae and shit. It's it's like a plankton thing. It, it's it's a um. Ah, it is from plankton. I said it's plankton. It's traditionally a plankton thing. <laughs> yeah. I remembered something. Na, 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 na. <laughs> I feel I very smart. You. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> you working this out, thinking about this while. Well, it's my character that's stuck in this room, and I do not have a brain cell. <laughs> I'm, I am not a druid? Thinking. Listen, okay. First of all, we just give that to you freely. So, so, Miss Foam can know because we said it. But also, I need everybody to know, Tsugi, <laughs> upon leveling up, is absolutely going to take the feat of notice things. Because we have... Because... Uh, <laughs> Everyone's perception is so bad. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. 
I'm listen. I'm I'm druiding, baby, and I do have a, uh, was it proficiency bonus in perception? So, if, yeah, if, if she does survive, the, the uh... <laughs> this whole thing is gonna be right. Anyway, uh, is everyone ready to continue? Yeah, one second. Oh, that it is. <laughs> JD needs to put the headphones back in. Yeah, they're they're hurt they're hurting me ears. They're hurting my tiny little baby shell ears. Oh, I'm we sorry gotta about get your little ears. We gotta get a cable so you can put your over your headphones on or yeah. something. Um anyway <laughs> The time is over. The game uh, the game continues. Ms. Foam, um now's the point where you get to do a reaction to the weird news I dropped earlier. How you doing? <laughs> Of the 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 room is dark and the water is glowing. Yep. That, am I correct? Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah. And um, also, like, door is closed behind you. That's all you need to know. Good. First things first. Before anything, she is going to go to the door and check if that's locked on her. Uh. Yeah. Sure. It. It, you jiggle the handle, it's locked. It's 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 locked. Or at least it's not opening. Oh, Biff did, dam did damage it earlier. Ooh, baby! <laughs> <laughs> um, she is going to knock on the door. And just... just it starts with, you know, sh shaving the haircut. And then it just get, becomes like a rapid drilling. Um, she's using like a vine and um, just rapidly hitting against the door. Noises from both sides now. I was gonna say, yeah. Um, Tsuki and um, Frankie, what are your passive perceptions? Oh, extremely bad. I think. <laughs> Let me have a look. Tsuki's is twelve. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> okay. Um. I don't think either of those are quite like if if you had a thirteen, Suki, I would have given this to you. But, ah! but do you guys see why I'm complaining? Do you guys see? Do you guys understand why I'm gonna be taking that feat? <laughs> with with a twelve, it's not it. quite high enough because the noise that Miss Foam is making is kind of getting lost in the noise that um, Biff is making with the window. To be quite honest, <laughs> so uh, sorry, Miss Foam. I don't think anyone really hears you, or at least you're not getting any response. Okay. Yet. Um, and I'm I'm sure Miss Phone can hear the drilling that's coming from yeah, the other yeah, room yeah. as well. <laughs> uh -huh. um, so she, I'm gonna just say she uh, she puts that together just like there's a lot going on right now. So she will turn around and um, check out the glowing water. She will not. She she will be cautious. She will not instantly go and touch the water, but she is going to investigate it. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I need to double check. I, I want to argue for something because I don't like just throwing these no modifier rolls about. <laughs> no, it's okay. If you can well, come up I with a solid nothing. argument for a different I'm thing. just going to make it. Okay. Because, like, survival. Will I die if I drink this? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you want, yeah. I mean, what could it be used for medicinally like, as a survival kind of thing? Attitude. I mean, like, if, will I but, die but if I do the this? Is yeah. the basic is the basis of survival? Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I would say I would say judging if water is potable enough, is potable or not, is a survival thing. Okay. Like you won't and find this is, like the actual uses of the thing. Yeah, like you won't mm. find much else about the water. Just is this safe to drink or not? Really. Cool. With a twenty-three. <laughs> I can just. I can tell I can you just right. Do investigation and just put information. <laughs> All right. Uh, the summary right now is yes, this is safe to drink. The more expanded version, because you got a fucking twenty-three. You are looking at this, and even with the very slight glow to it, uh, this water looks fucking pristine clean. There's no bubbles in it. The only bubbles that tend to happen are like as it is splashing into the basin and then gurgling down into the drain. Um, it is completely clear. There is no um, out, there's no algae or moss or anything of that kind growing around the amphoras that is pouring out or in the ace uh, or in the basin. Like where you tend to have like water flowing a place, you're gonna get stuff trying to grow there. There's absolutely 
there's nothing growing there, but there's also like no marks in the stone as a, where um, anything acidic might be trying to eat away at it. Or um, if it was like heavy with certain minerals, there's no mineral buildup. There's uh, the only thing that's, there's no strange smell. Um, it doesn't uh, have, like I will actually tell you, you can hear the difference between hot and cold water pouring. It doesn't sound like it's boiling or anything. And also, even if you hold your hand near it, not enough to touch, but uh, just near it, you don't, it just seems like slightly cool, like slightly cooler than room temperature. The only thing about it that your senses mm. can pick up or that you can figure out about it that doesn't seem like pure water is the fact that it is slightly glowing. <laughs> ah. Uh... Okay, with the previous perception checks you'd done for this general room, yeah, which was like a seventeen or something, right? it was a nineteen. Yeah. Okay. Um, would she have picked up if there if these figures um have any sort of um if if these figures could animate the same way that line could animate, even though this is made of just carved stone. From what you saw around before with the nineteen, I will say you didn't, you haven't seen any cracks or crevices or um, like major joints for movement on these. The one thing you can see is like on the uh, like on near the amphora itself and like the hands holding the amphora there are a couple of cracks around those uh you will have to do investigation to find out more though i would like to do an investigation um i i you gave this flavor before and i would like to abuse it again even though this is technically a spell but miss foam sort of just clamp Clambers in the way you don't know, just splats against the side of one of the yeah. statues. No, I will allow you to just <laughs> climb up the statue. Go ahead. <laughs> and just uh, do a close investigation of the thing they are holding. I know I keep on double jacking, but it is just a zero, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Two. Nice. Now these are just Seems normal. Like stone. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm gonna just do give you a fucking luck roll here, considering that you specified that you were um, climbing up this thing. That's a twelve. Okay. Mm -hmm. With that, uh, while you are climbing, you actually put one of your hands on top of like one of the arms, and while the roll that you got, you are fairly certain. Oh no, no, these are just normal, ordinary boring cracks in the stone the moment you put any weight on it the arm and the amphora shifts and what was just a gentle trickle of water before is now a gush of water it's not enough to start filling out the basin and the other statue is still just the gentle trickle but this amphora has now tilted forward and a lot more water is coming out of it ah yeah she does uh jump off in almost a worn fashion but kind of he gains her composure. Um, huh. All right. Well, damn. <laughs> full Jeez. swear. It's a full swear. <laughs> it's a real swear. No, no, no. Um, I'm... Damn is in like what beavers make. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> See, as we're talking about water. What you need in this situation. Yeah. <sighs> How's everyone else going outside um, this room? I do got to ask. Any updates mm, to what you're mm, up to? I mean, oh, oh, she hits oh. the window again. <sighs> <laughs> Lucky is just going to come over and kind of pat you on the knee and going like, "Oh yeah, you gave it a good go, kid. Yeah, okay, not a bad go at it, but uh, not have much luck here, are we?" No. Uh, <laughs> Sugi is is totally leaned against the wall and probably still arguing with Frankie. No, but... I mean... Uh, no, go on. Sorry. I was gonna ask, may I make a perception check? Just to see if you've noticed that Ms. Foam has vanished? Yes, go ahead. I <laughs> Thank was, you. I, I was literally going to say that um, Frankie has definitely left by this point. <gasps> Oh, that's a t okay. Cool. Can I just? Okay. 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 Can I? Can I? Can I please? Can I please describe how this happens? Yeah. Go ahead. We'll come back to Frankie. Okay. In a sec. So Frankie 
and he had a good, nice, jolly old uh, argument, and Spot. Frankie uh, left, and Biff is in one direction, uh, the, the, the little dude, uh, no, he does not care to know the little dude's name, uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. NPC material, if you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Uh, <laughs> Rude. Wow. <laughs> um, uh, little dude's over there, but normally anytime one of them stops hassling him, the other one starts, <laughs> and then it doesn't, and then he, like, does a quick head count. Oh, now and... you're alone with your thoughts, too. <laughs> As if that would that would bother him. Like I said, he's an asshole. Um, and <laughs> uh, uh, he, he does, like, a head count and goes, Any of you guys put Miss Foam in your hammer space, or do you think we have a problem? Does anyone okay, have a problem? so we have a problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's just, I'm sorry, it's just imagining everything. Every... in that silence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not editing that silence out, by the way. No, like, no, 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 what you need to do is edit crickets <laughs> into the silence when you do that. Because <laughs> yeah. I was desperately trying to think of, like, uh, I was definitely trying to think of something to say. It's like, no, it's brain no empty. Head empty. <laughs> no thoughts, head um, empty. No thoughts. Hammer space empty of foam. <laughs> Ms. Foam is not so, here. Just, oh I... god, she's one of the useful ones. Where'd she go? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it's, it's actually, she's one of the ones that hassle me, and she's not hassling me. Oh fuck, where'd she go? <laughs> um, so, one door is destroyed, one door is open, where there's one last door, and it's closed. Correct? Yeah. Okay, so... So he's going. He he's yeah. he's going for that door, considering he's the one that perceives. Um, he's gonna, I guess, do. Okay, you know what? Actually, I was gonna say he's gonna do investigation, but he thinks it's just a door. Biff had it fine. He's gonna try and open the door. Did Biff's mangling of the doorknob make it so it doesn't work anymore? Uh, give me a strength roll real quick. It's not gonna be a high one. It's just, like, the the mangling of the door is gonna have something of an effect. Um. All right. Minus one! Yeah! <laughs> A 15? Oh, a 15? A 15 is high enough that you give the door a quick, like, a heavy tug, because it feels like when you're twisting the doorknob, it didn't twist quite all the way, but with a bit of strength, yep, you yank the door open, and hallway light re-enters the room, and the water no longer looks glowy, and Ms. Foam, your saviour, is in the doorway. Oh, dear gods. <laughs> your saviour looks that asshole. <laughs> Looks at the water that is now stopped glowing. Looks at Suge <laughs> in the in the doorway, and she's like, "Ah, you noticed? Can you please close that infernal door? But also, don't make it go locked again. I think we have found something here." I was like, "Yeah, Suge, do you want to step in and let the door close behind you?" I I think he's gonna wait for a second and like look at Miss Foam and, and then like. Start to mime closing the door like, okay, you want to be left here forever? I see. I get it. I get it. I understand. I I said, do not let it lock. Thank you for opening the door. We have found something here. He's going to like make a little pouty face. He's going to go, okay, hang on. Um, He is going to roll hammer space. Uh, and with a six, he pulls out a boot that looks identical to the boots that he already wears, <laughs> and he's gonna put the boot in between the door closing, um, but so that most of the light is is gone. Is that enough to let the glow come back? No, with light still coming in from the corridor, you can maybe get the teensiest hint of a glow, but it's not like that nice, strong, blue plankton sort of look that it had before. No, okay, no, hang no, on, no, hang no, on. No, instead, I'm gonna, instead, I'm going to wedge my spear in because spear handles are going to be smaller than full boots. Does that do it? 
Uh, again, he really doesn't want to be locked in with Miss Foam. <laughs> <laughs> again, oh, like Frankie, Jay has been sitting here trying to say something for the past ten minutes. I think Frankie's turned to do okay. something. Sorry, <laughs> this is this isn't even what I was going to say before. Um, I think Frankie is uh, going to go over to our resident. Uh, you know, you know the party locksmith who's <laughs> literally is good at locks and stuff like that. His she's, name is literally Locky. Yeah, yeah. She's mm-hmm. just going to. She is going to go over to him and uh, where Biff is presumably still smacking at the window, and um, say, uh, "Mr. Lucky, we may have need of your services. Would you mind coming this way?" Yeah, yeah. What do you need this time? What up? What's going on? What's going on here? We need to disable this lock so that we can open this, open and close this door without it locking our friend in. All right. Let me have a look at it. Uh, and... She's going to get. Uh, Frankie's also going to give a very pointed look at Sugi. It's like, see, <laughs> being polite, <laughs> being polite will get you things. <laughs> and uh, Lucky is just going to shove you kind of out of the doorway, uh, Tsugi, probably <laughs> into the room. Um, he is like, got his foot in between like the door and the. Um, like the frame though just to make stop it from closing as he investigates the lock all right with a 12 by the way is just is catching her breath now yeah <laughs> she really went hard on that window you did great biff i'm so proud of you <laughs> hey, thank you all right with a 12 i think Lockie kind of like Argh. Argh. pulls out a couple of tools and like a hairpin and stuff and kind of like pokes at her like Argh. See, now what you got here is a busted handle. Oh, this is some other looking stuff here. Like, this stuff thing doesn't look like it wants to open. Like, there's, there's, there's some, uh, mm, more, let me try a thing. Um, and it's gonna do, you actually do get a plus two to that. Oh, why do I have you open? Um, <laughs> now that was a failed arcana roll with a six. Nice. Uh, with that, so mm-hmm. it's like, the potential for magical bullshittery here but no nah, i reckon this is like kid you certainly don't know your own strength and just like saying that over like calling that out to biff it's like you got a busted handle here could you not just take the entire mechanism out ah oh, no you see it's like jammed into the door here and it's like you see like this screw you need like certain proprietary screwdriver to get that bit open and it's biff darling would you mind coming over mm-hmm. here please yeah sure what's up now, you know what we talked about before, about um, not punching through doors and not... Yeah. Uh, now, I need you to forget about a little bit of that, and I need you to concentrate very specifically on removing just the handle. Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah. She looks at you almost like she's suspicious of like what's what's the play here? Like, no, you no, told we... me to do something and then you changed what you told me to do. Mm. <laughs> Don't know about that. <laughs> pretty sus if you ask me. <laughs> That's pretty, that pretty sus if you ask me. Um... No. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> see, see, uh, like I, I as a player know that this is putting uh, Frankie dangerously close to not being uh, high up in Biff's estimation anymore. <laughs> Frankie herself has absolutely uh, no understanding that if she asks for two completely contradictory things from somebody, that that might make them annoyed. <laughs> well, like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it is broke, might as well break it more. <laughs> <laughs> it's not specifically annoyed. It's just like, huh. Like part, like part confused, just like, puzzled. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly puzzled. It's mostly confused. <laughs> um, what am I doing? Strength. Yeah, give me strength. Um, also give me dexterity to see um how localized the damage is. Okay. Um, I'll do a strength first. Yeah. Twenty-one. Okay. I believe she's fairly. De- no, she's not. Nine. Nine. <laughs> it's a dexterity. Okay, so as you were specifically trying to break it this time rather than just get the door door open, you were told to specifically break the handle. What you've done is you've grabbed onto the mangled mess that was the door handle from before. And then you've uh-huh. just yanked. 
as fast as possible. Yeah. And with that nine, you have now managed to take out a solid chunk of this door. Not the entire door, but like the whole section, like a, a one foot square section, like where the locking mechanism would have been. And now Hand you've size. done that, you can actually see that, hey, this door wasn't wood like all the other ones. It was like solid fucking metal. You've just broken oh. off a chunk of metal. Oh, wow. Frankie is slightly frightened by this. With a 21, I think that's what you deserve. <laughs> Congrats, you you've broken okay. my fucking big puzzle. Uh, <laughs> big hands Frankie the, the metal that she has ripped off this door. Here you go. <laughs> Frankie takes it and visibly like her arm like her arms drop like a foot like a foot low. It's like, yes, you know what? Thank you, that will do. And like very tries tries very carefully to just sort of um set it down. <laughs> so, uh, you know how I was gonna Sorry. say Sorry. You know how normally, um, after you guys have done a thing, and like after you've like successfully done a thing, I go, "Congrats, you've solved my X puzzle." This is the point yeah. where I don't say that. I say, "I say, congrats, you've broken my puzzle." <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> now I was, I was going I don't to know say. How specific, I don't know how specifically it has to be the door. If it just has to be dark, we could just get Biff to stand in front of the door. Yeah, like yeah, I said, that, that, she's a wall in and of herself. That there was one hundred percent my plan. I did not think it through enough that, like, maybe there would be mechanisms and like the, the lock would maybe depend on something. What can I say? I'm playing a, a a character with wisdom of eight. There was more than just the darkness. Dang. Well, we don't know that. We don't know that. We don't know, don't know that. that. You're, you're player ca- you, like your characters don't. I'm just sitting here going, I hate all of you, and now you're gonna have to actually spend like an extra half hour fixing this somehow in order to solve it. Hell yeah! Nobody now you're reading. DMing. <laughs> now you're running a D and D game. Oh boy. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Go ahead. Um. What? Yeah. Uh, um. Uh. Sorry. Uh. I just gotta say super quick uh, what frankie is going to do is just sort of uh get inside of uh the the room pull the door to and ask biff very nice very politely to stand in front of the uh, to stand in front of the door um presumably well, having been told by ms foam that light is uh to try and block out all the light <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> we do yeah, this i need to say that happens yeah, I was going what like, I do best. yeah, Ms. Foam, how, what, I think you've, you were trying to say something earlier, um, you good? Uh, I, I forgot, I feel like she was gonna try and stop this whole train, but she is so used to being an idle stationary thing, that sometimes she just doesn't. Oh. <laughs> so, oh, no. so, she I'm just so like sorry, stood there, <laughs> the phone just got destroyed. And the idea, yeah, she, she she also thinks it's just darkness. She didn't know about the mechanism behind it. So she's like, okay, let's fucking go. <laughs> um, and yeah, if the door just gets blocked and the glow doesn't return, she's going to be like, no, 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 no. It wasn't like this. It was, it was more, uh... Uh, and is that what happens? I will say, does the once, glow not return? Once it is dark, yes, you do again see the very slight glow. It's, oh. it's again, it's not quite as bright as it was before because, like, even if you are standing in front of the hole, there's still going to be like a little bit tiny, tiny bits of lights coming around. Uh, but you do still see the glow. Not to not to harp, harp on this point, but uh, Biff's real big. <laughs> And <laughs> I know, I, I know that there's I know that she's built of, like a brick shit house. Big, there's a lot of tune for the light to have to go around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I know she's built like a brick shit house. I understand. She also did rip a one foot square hole in the fucking door. Uh huh. I mean, like she is broader than one square, and if she just stands up against it. Okay, okay, it's fucking dark. The water is still glowing. You get what you want. Nice. Okay, you okay? I hate all of you. Do you want to take a break? <laughs> A break is not going to fix this, my friend. <laughs> Frankie, no, you have mending, right? I do, That's actually, a... yes. Use me- Frankie like a wielding like, again, no, torch. Guys, I do appreciate you guys. I, again, I told you that stuff out of character because, yes, I am frustrated with a lot of you. I would rather you guys continue with what you feel to be in character than try to fix my arbitrary puzzle. Well, okay, here's, here's the thing, though. We can actually, we can actually do this um, 
in character if we like go in there uh, sorry go on around a little bit and find out <laughs> yeah yeah fuck if we yeah. fuck around and find out i we, we can completely do this in character you've already given us like in ca- in all the pieces in character too in the sense yeah. that like Frankie's got, Frankie got given the mechanism from the door. It was extremely heavy. Yeah. If nothing, if we poke around and find uh, and find that there is a mechanism to find, then mm-hmm. we can completely do this. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, uh, Frankie's going to just sort of like uh, uh sort of clap her hands uh, together and just go. Well, uh, that was my idea. Um, continue with what you were doing, I suppose. So what's the light? showing us the light is it's... showing you water frankly mm-hmm. you've got one the, uh, the amphora of the statue that uh miss foam climbed up earlier where water is gushing out and you've got the other one which kind of has like the slight pipelines um leading to the forest room through it is still just coming out as a, as a trickle oh is uh the water that i took from the fountain earlier is that glowing yes Ooh. It is also slightly pink rather than blue because <laughs> of the fucking twizzler that you had in it. Nice. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> but... Oh, probably should have taken that out. Oh, well. Uh, the water was not like this. It was... Oh, my God. Sorry. I'm sorry. I just got distracted by the personality trait. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was trying to do it sneaky under the radar there. No. Look, I, I um, love Biff so much. I also hate the lot of you for all of this. <laughs> but please you continue. You the character. You proved this character. Re- removing, removing the light source from this room caused the glow. And moving the arm of this statue caused the flow to increase. I am not sure if the same could be said about this statue over here, but I'm sure it is all part of this puzzle that the orator... Well, well did we get the name of the person? I forgot if that... I was, that uh, I, like, um, yeah, you would know the name. Let's say uh, there was probably like a plaque underneath her little stage. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you know that it was oh, the orator. Right, right. Yeah, the, the puzzle that the orator has ever so kindly forced us to take part in yes no that sounds that sounds perfectly reasonable to me the old lady hmm? yes the lady why did you liz why did you say yes what do you mean you said lady it's a lady wasn't it <laughs> yeah, like the Oruto was shaped like a lady. Question that no, okay, out of out of character, the question that Biff has asked you was because earlier in you you're talking, yeah, uh, you referenced moving the arm of the statue. Oh Biff I, is asking that... if you would like her to move the other statue, but she doesn't know it's a statue for sure. Please, please, please. I want you to want see to this take two of that. Uh go go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to take a take two, but I also just did not pass. Because my brain just uh, done a backflip. Um, <laughs> you want me to move the other lady? Uh, yes, please. Just Gently. Be okay, you're be saying ca- yes to character given this context. <laughs> Kai, I, I, she is saying be careful. That's it. She is gonna let her do it. Biff doesn't have to explode everything she comes into contact with. I'm just imagining, like, using her, like, tiny little pinky to just very gently touch the the arm. <laughs> statue connected to the ground. The statue is, con- is, like, connected to a plinth, and the plinth is connected to the basin, which is sitting on the ground. I mean, her... She's... You are you gonna break the puzzle twice? Mm-hmm. Mock, what are you what, gonna break the puzzle twice? Yeah. Mock, please tell me what Biff is planning on doing. I there's probably the, the character player the the clash of <laughs> intentions. Oh god. Alright, alright. This is gonna be the point where I'm gonna say, hey, quick for everyone in this room, quick flashback to what happened about five ten minutes ago with the fucking lion statue and just straight up picking that thing off the ground you know what maybe maybe not actually maybe not um 
so yeah, I'm if, to if, save her from herself. I'm so sorry. Because <laughs> this is this is Miss Phone's logic. She explained that she it was the arm right that moved that caused water to oh start God, coming you out. Can't assume. I'm. That's that's on Miss Phone though. It's what, so as soon as she sees right, that, this is going... Biff, Biff will just stop and be like, look at the two, uh, like between the two of you. Yeah, like, it's... like wait, like waiting for additional like orders yeah. and information. <laughs> yeah, but just Miss Phone just like hands up, like two mangles, clammy arms just appear from her face, and she just waves, and she, like, and she's like. Let us try again from the beginning. I said that it was the arm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, continue, continue. continue you keep going. Continue. I, you, okay. you keep going. You said that it, it was... was the arm that was supposed to move. You are reaching for the base of the statue. Why oh, are you yeah. doing this? To move to. I want. I asked if you wanted me to move the lady because you said you'd move the lady, and something happens. Was going to move the other lady. I. Well, this is. On me. I. <laughs> <laughs> I was going off of the previous information that it was the arm. Biff, if your arm was simply to move up, did your legs move? You want me to rip her arm off? No. <laughs> it is Sugi a, it has rolled sleight of hand and has gently pressed the lady's arm. Yeah, I was going to say, while that conversation is going on, uh, Ms. Foam, just as you're about to start talking there, you notice something kind of at your feet because you're the person lowest to the ground. So you are the <laughs> first person to notice the fact that Oh, wait, there's water pooling on the ground. In fact, there's water kind of splashing out of the basin. Oh, in fact, the other thing is, the, the, the other amphora is also gushing water. Both amphoras are gushing water, which means the arm's been moved down and Tsugi is standing right next to the statue after rolling a dirty 20. <laughs> Tsugi? I will what did you do? You... I will mention, uh, be before I answer that, Tsugi... First of all, press the arm down, but when it did the thing, he just nonchalantly made a pose where, like, his one arm is crossed and the other is, like, supporting his head, still leaning on the arm, just waiting for you guys to notice. <laughs> and and he's got the stupid, smuggest little grin, and he's like, I did what Miss Foam asked. Just extrapolated. A little bit. You did really good, Biff. You you were listening super hard. I I just followed my gut. <laughs> ah, jeez, you know how much do these shoes cost? Ugh. Hey, kid, kid. Like, and um, mm -hmm. Lockie is gonna be doing like little grabby arms up at you, Biff. <laughs> oh yeah, pick him up. <laughs> yeah, Lockie just is gonna just comfortably sit on your shoulder if that's all right. <laughs> how? How low is the ceiling in this room? Where are Biff's shoulders relative to the ceiling? Okay, I'm going to say at this point, it's probably... With with Lockie sitting on your shoulders, it's probably another uh, two feet up to the ceiling. Realistically... Oh, no, no, no. Uh, no, call it, call it four feet. So, like, Biff, if you were to stretch your arm all the way up, um, you would be, like, just shy of the ceiling. Good to know. Uh, yeah, because because the water is uh, presumably continuing to uh, flow, um, Frankie is just going to go over and attempt to push the amphora back so that it stops, you know, potentially flooding the room. <laughs> yeah, if you go push one of the amphoras back, it, um, as you tilt it back, it g stops gushing out and goes back to being a trickle. And bit by okay. bit, the water that was filling the basin starts draining. You've still got water kind of splishing all over the floor. Um, but the basin is now able to empty faster than water is pouring in. Ugh. You're uh. undoing all my hard work? I'm hurt. I thought you said that working together was the way we were gonna get out of this, Frankie. You're right. Next time I'll leave you in here and just let you drown. <sighs> no, please. Be Frankie preferable. is... <laughs> Frankie is, like, literally just going to, like, take, like, just a deep breath. And breathe it out. <laughs> <laughs> so we can 
she's going to have to like <laughs> testing your patience like that was unpleasant of me i apologize oh that's big of you sweetheart real big well we have a problem here to solve the this seems to be more mm, more mechanical, more puzzle-like, more structured than the other three rooms, so I do believe there is some actual information we could extract from here. Uh, if we all, like you said, worked together and had a think about it, maybe we could find out a way to, uh, find out a way to move on, yes? Hey, while we're having a think about it, did you ever look at those books that I directed you to because you're the one who's smart? Yes, or I did! did you just... Yes, I did. One was about plants, one was about the family history. Most of them are just background context. It doesn't... Wait, no, hang on. And she is going to bring out, like, the, um... Uh... Symbol dictionary again. And, uh, have a Did look we take that piece that. of paper with us? <laughs> uh... I think we did, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm you... gonna, I'm gonna say... Uh, I'm gonna say that we did. That um, might be helpful. I don't know. Yeah, you you did bring this like uh, you did bring the single symbols. Let me actually post it in here again so I can yeah. at least refer to it. Um, do, 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 where the fuck did I save it? That is the question. Do, 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 do. It was this one. Okay, so you know the symbol at the bottom is aqua fortis, uh, uh, which you guys have interpreted as strong water, and uh, <laughs> you'll not get any more information on that. Strong water. Um, can I have another... Uh, oh, uh, we, kn we knew that one of them was a, a Virgo symbol. Yeah. Uh, did we have the answers for the other two? Oh. I believe we did. Uh, I didn't actually give you... You guys didn't look those up. The only one that you found uh, before the lion attacked was the aqua fortis one. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, okay, I want to uh, look up the other symbols, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right. In that case, the one at the top left, where the fuck was it again? I think, um, top left, you scramble through your, di uh, your dictionary of various symbols, um, and you find out that the top left one is vitriol. The top right one is... Uh, saltpeter or nitre, depending on like it's got the two names as they're both used interchangeably. And you actually, do you bother looking up the Virgo symbol? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, the Virgo symbol. You find actually, while yes, it is known as the Virgo symbol, it can also mean distillation. Okay. That's lots of information you're putting on me personally. I'm just trying to process some of that. <laughs> Are the dots relevant? Uh, they're, they're like a ratio or like an equals, right? Yeah. So the dots, you do not find the dots in the uh, simple dictionary. Yeah. But like, you know how when you write down ratios and they've got That's like... not little... a very good dictionary. <laughs> You're right. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're just right. <laughs> I mean, no. yeah, yeah, true. This is specifically I'm about alchemical today. symbols, though. That's mm, fair. Like, thank you. The yep. So, yep, you can puzzle through your book and you find this. I'm guessing you pass on this information to your fellow characters. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I at least uh, I show it to uh, Ms. Firm because once again, has mate uh, who has um, the person who seems to most likely to know more about um natural things. Also, it means avoiding talking to Sugi for. A little longer, so you are trying hey. so much. Does is there any? Can I make a roll to see if Miss Foam knows, uh, if she knows what these words mean in this context? Because I'm gonna be so real right now. I, as a player, do not. <laughs> nope, that's valid and fair. Well, salt, pizza, or nitro, distillation, like for this vitriol. Would this be an intelligence? Straight um, intelligence? Yeah, I think, yeah, just straight Nitrogen. intelligence. Um, I'm so okay. mad because I can kind of... It's probably going to be... Okay, yeah. with a five, you recognise, like, 
distillation's a chemistry thing, right? You, you can do that with water? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you have no idea. <laughs> Concoction of some sort. I see. I am not familiar with these terms, unfortunately. No, no, that's fair enough. Thank you, anyway. Um... I'm just trying to have a think, because um, out of character, my brain is trying to go in two directions at once. One, it's trying to solve this, which is clearly some sort, of, which is clearly, uh, clearly, uh, ba uh, basically an equation. What we have, you know, how in chemistry you would have like, uh, here are the two elements, and then there would be a little arrow, and it would be like heat underneath, and then you would get the the, the combined um, result thing, uh, combined yeah. result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, it makes uh, smarty pants. <laughs> um, and if, uh, aqua if aquafortis is, uh, nitric acid, uh, and then, uh, nitra, uh, saltpeter and nitra, so that's one part, one part, vitriol is clearly the, uh, other component, but I can't work out what it is in my brain, and then my brain is also going in another direction, which is, okay, we have a puzzle room here, my brain is like, hmm, what if you lock the door, fill it up, and hold your breath, and look at things underwater, see if that's a, uh, if that gives you anything. But, um, yeah, so that's just me splurging all this information out at you, because I cannot think like a normal human. <laughs> alright, alright, so we got all these fancy symbols and doodads, and like, at least we know what they mean now, uh, but since they're scattered all over the place, but, like, what have they got to do with all the glowy water? Hmm. You got me. I so the water's triangle. Yes. And the triangle is going fast. <laughs> um sort of. Then the water wants to go fast. She's going to move the arm back down probably with more force than is necessary. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna say, for the sake of you not breaking my puzzle twice, use more force than necessary. The statue is thankfully sturdy. Um, it's just like a clock. Thank you, Kai. Like... <laughs> so, yep, the water starts gushing from both, like, both of them are now gushing, and the water, like, within, it, it still takes a couple of seconds, but the water slowly fills up the basin and starts dripping down onto the floor once again. Oh. Biff looks very proud of herself. <laughs> As she should be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now, tell me, what did you think was going to happen after this? Uh... Water's still filling up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it is, it is very you tell me slow. I did a good it's... Job I solved the puzzle. <laughs> like, the water filling the floor is very slow. It's going at like um, an inch a minute, frankly. It's only the tiniest puddle of water spreading out across the floor currently. Okay. Um. Uh, this is also a question. Do you guys want to keep banging your heads at this for now? Uh, or do you want to call this the end of this session and we will get back to this in two weeks? I'm happy to keep going if you, everyone else wants to. Um, I'm also aware that we're hitting the two and a half hour mark. I'm, I could go either way. I'm happy to keep right going. I just don't, I'm happy to keep going. I just don't have any more ideas. Yeah, me neither. Okay, Biff solved the puzzle. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, Biff it. solved the puzzle. <laughs> yeah, water wants to go fast. <laughs> the yeah. water wants to go and fast. Is the other one going as fast as possible? Yeah, both of them are going super fast. <laughs> All right, well, that's I mean, it. I... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think I have an idea, but I also kind, kind of want to pick it up later, I guess, because... Yeah. Do we want to? Yeah, I think let's let's say like you guys have two weeks to think on this and discuss theories privately, um, and we will come back to this slowly flooding room in two weeks. As all of you stand there, with <laughs> staring at like it. us watching this, getting your shoe. Well, those of you that wear shoes, getting your shoes mm -hmm. all soggy, um, as slightly glowing blue water fills this place up, and we end it there. Thank you, everyone, for playing. <laughs> 
no thank you for the bullying me, the breaking my puzzle, the uh, basically fucking everything, not letting my lion get a single fucking hit in. That was on us. That was on him. Not he was there. That, that was Dice Parson, though, I get that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, does everybody want to say goodbye? Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. Nice messages to Kai. We are all menaces. You are all menaces. <laughs>